Hey guys, that one brody two five eight here with my new let's play of Quantum Conundrum. So this game just came out a couple weeks ago, and I decided, seeing as how it came out a couple weeks ago, I decided to do a blind let's play because blind let's plays are usually the best let's plays because you get more of a reaction. And seeing as how apparently this game is supposed to be like Portal but a bit funnier, I'll. I guess I gave it a try, and let's just see how it works. Loading dimension. Once upon a time. Not narrative. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. <laughs> The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Ooh. That, my dear friend, is definitely the voice of Discord. John Delancey is in this game. Well, let's see here. If I configure the better. transdimensional oh, velocity regulator nice. at approximately 0 0.87 microseconds capacity. Oh! Or something. You're here? I am here. I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Oh, there we go. I can move. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Yeah, so this is like portal. I uh, use the... Can I drop this? Hit the button. Hit the... Hit the button. There we go. Through and there. Oh, you confounded machine. Oh. What was that? Is that what he looks like? He's got like 3D glasses on. Oh, good. That, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Huh. Now, where on earth did I. Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 What's going on? Whoa. Holy jeez. What the hell is that thing? Where'd it go? Where'd my luggage go? This is freaky. What's going on? Oh. There's a black guy or something. What just happened? I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and... Hello, you, you you can hear me, right? Jump. Jump around a bit if you can. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Discord. Ah, there you go. It seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There. Ha. Ah, much better. Huh. Now, what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. Backup. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. What? A bump on the head. Thanks. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Is this the front hall? I'm waiting for the door to open. There we go. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. Well, how am I supposed to reach that? Oh. Okay, apparently I wasn't. I opened for me. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Ooh. This one? Find blueprint tubes open... Okay, so that's not it. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. 
What's going on here? Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. Please. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am glove. not. Please. Oh, what the hell is on the pitch? Yeah. What the hell? Oh, you get a power glove. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device. Or no, I thought IDS you were like, giving me the finger. Sure. What the hell? It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Ooh, pretty. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if you can access the oh, generator at the back of each uh, wing, uh, uh, uh. we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did <laughs> unlock the blue wing. <laughs> well, I suppose we should start there first. Ah, oh, I got, uh, there's Mario's mustache. There's like a trucker. I don't even know what kind of mustache that is. Pencil stash, alright. Never the mustaches. Time there's something I must dog. tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few oh, I pick uh, adjustments to the house since yeah. the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, make a visited. Oh, what the? Alright, never mind then. Flip the switch. There's an anglerfish over there, too. Now, one of the topics that oh, our family has been studying for forever. several generations yeah. are rifts All of existing between various Ooh, dimensions. Jetpack. I've been able to develop Ooh, a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Uh, I can't take the deck. How's this? Ice ray? Oh, it's frozen. Oh, that <laughs> kind of makes sense that an ice ray is frozen. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. I should probably be listening to this, because I have no idea what he's been saying. Dimensional rift glove. All right, so you I'm won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. All right, so I can't switch dimensions yet. But This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, things. periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. <laughs> I can take it off this thing. Actually, you're coming with me. Come here. Hmm. You should have a name. Can I put you on this? Oh, I can. So I can take this drinking bird wherever there's a switch. Oh, uh, kitty well, cat. because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms huh. of dimension accessibility and the distance what it can be from a receptacle face? in order to function. Ew. <laughs> Gross. You look good with a monocle and stuff, but... Oh. That was easy. A shift in perspective. Hit the button. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Bird's not doing anything. Oh, there's an that. IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. IDS battery. Which in this case is a fluffy dimension. Fluffy. In addition to fluffy, like a mattress now. Embarrassingly oh. adorable, it's also rather oh. useful because everything okay. is ten times but, lighter uh, than normal. Hell, he's wearing a bird suit. Okay, now he's... what? Oh, every time it goes into like a different dimension, the pictures change too. Pick this up. Oh, now I can. So fluffy dimension makes everything light. Alright. Precision platforming going on here. Though that looks like a regular scale, yeah. it is in fact a portable kinetic mass oh. to electricity converter. Let's go. Well, that's a nice little background. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the bird. There's bird. that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Desmond? Desmond Something to note. Bird. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant, so no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Oh, here? Mounted on the wall. I think. 
So that receptacle right. will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your so IDS dirty. device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Oh, sweet! Now I can actually use fluffy dimension. Let's go. As I mentioned. Dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle. And this is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. 